and good morning, sports fans. It's a little late, but better late than never. <laughs> no, uh, you know, how to get everything set up, how to get the lights working. Uh, once again, it's the Call of the Mossy Sports Report every Saturday morning live from the center of the sports universe, Coach's Corner. That's right. I'm here. Got everything set up. Everything's working fine. So uh, once again, got to appreciate George getting me in the joint. There's nobody here except me, myself, and I. Uh, the workers will start coming in. It's nice and warm in here. I don't know about you guys, but it felt like being home. And, I, and that's why I moved out here 26 years ago, was to get out of that cold weather. But we're here. It's going to be a short introduction. Once again, it's every Saturday morning right here from Coach Corner on the Coach Corner Sports Network. There are five shows. Wednesday night, Rubbin' and Grubbin, NASCAR show with the Atlanta man, Brandon Baines, and the producer, Lawrence Bennett. They're in Daytona, okay, for the Miata uh, Mazda 5X Cup Series with, of course, Michael Carter Racing. John Henderson, Coach Corner, proud sponsor. We're going to get to them about 9.30, all right? Uh, then, of course, you got yours truly every Saturday morning from 9 to whatever, even though we start a little late today, but I'm here, okay? Uh, then uh, we got um, the third show is called The 19th Hole with the Herb Brothers. Short Brett Herb. Once a year, they hit Augusta, the, Nash, the Masters, okay? And they do a great, great, great job. I'm telling you, four days straight doing an internet show or any kind of show, radio, TV, they got these guys pull it off. It's a lot of fun. So they'll be back in April. It's coming up soon. All right. And then we have two podcasts. Of course, the Hot Grits podcast with Spencer Maddox and Travis Jadon, two young pups talking local sports, talking national sports, and talking about the globe. They're not leaving the, the globe is staying. They're taking down all the stores in front of it. We're going to have a Starbucks, I think a Chick fil A. But anyway, the globe is there. And of course, uh, the Who's on First Base baseball podcast with the coach and the baseball fanatic, me. Uh, not the baseball fanatic, but the coach. And the baseball fanatic, Kyle Lawson. Got a great lineup for you. This is going to be short and sweet because at about 9.15, I got to bring on Josh Millard, former Benedictine cadet, former UJA Bulldog, former, he did play for the Bengals, okay, NFL football player. He'll be on at 9.15. Uh, quarter number two, we're going to travel to Daytona to meet the coach's crew, Daytona pit crew, and the chief himself, John Henderson. He's going to talk about, a little bit about Superfest. And then uh, we're going to push back the Athlete of the Week to about 9.45. Great kid. Calvary Day School senior. Just signed his national letter of intent on uh, Wednesday to go play at Mercer. The Bears, Juwan Johnson. All right. And then, of course, I'll take three out the door. No videos today. Didn't have time to put them together. Busy week. Uh, four, four basketball games. Coaching four basketball games. Being the athletic director. You know what? It's just been crazy. So I'm not going to read all my news and notes right now. Three steps in the door. I'm going to do that later on when I have a chance, probably at the end of the show, where it's usually three steps out the door. But you're watching the Call of the Master Sports Report right here live on the Coach's Corner Sports Network from the Center of Sports Universe, Coach Corner. i got to thank my sponsors, though. Can't forget about them. I'll be back hopefully in three minutes with the man himself, Josh Millard, former cadet, former Bulldog, former NFL football player, talking all things football. Be right back. See you in three minutes. I know it started late, and I'm, I'm going to a commercial early, but hey, you got to love it. All time, that's Coach's Corner and Thunderbolt. Coach's Corner has been both the best in Savannah for 20 years running, and it's no wonder why. Sports, live music, delicious and generous portions of pub food, all for our fans. No matter what the season, there's always a reason to check out Coach's Corner. It's always game time at Coach's Corner. Pick your favorite sport, pick your favorite team, and pick a TV, and Coach's Corner is your place. Coach's Corner is always open for lunch, dinner, and now breakfast Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 10.30. But remember, Coach's Corner still has takeout service. John Harrison and Coach's Corner crew have smoked Boston Bush, ribs, and chicken on the grill. You can place your order by calling Coach's Corner at 912-352-2933. That's 912-352-2933. As always, make it a night remember at Coach's Court. At Calvary Day School, we want our students to be fully equipped and on the cutting edge of academics making a difference in our world. Your child will grow academically, physically, socially, and spiritually. At Calvary, it is so good to say we are one school with one mission and one vision. Faith, academics, excellence, and building champions through Christ. Calvary Day School would consider it a privilege to meet with your family personally. Call Philip Lee, Director of Admissions at 351 2299. That's 351 For over half a century, it comes in uniform, sporting goods, or trophies. Thompson's got you covered. From cleats to caps and best prices on the biggest brands, Under Armour, Adidas, and more. From baseball to soccer, volleyball to softball, and yes, football too. 
every season that starts at Thompson Sports Shop. No cutting it equipped at Thompson Sports Shop's new location, 6606 Abercorn Street Suite 102 in Savannah. Every Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and seasonal on Saturdays. At locally owned Thompson Sporting Goods and Trophies, Come see where everyone is a Yo, winner. you still want some real New York Deli and Italian food? Bada bing, bada boom. Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering is open at 7630 Skidaway Road in Savannah, Georgia during this social distancing problem. Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering will take calls for pickup at 912-354-2914. That's 912-354-2914 on the phone. Kabish. If you want Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering goods delivered, go to savtakeout.com, savtakeout.com to place the order. Remember, Rocky's He's New York Deli and Italian caring. We ain't New York style. We are New York. Chiropractic Clinic. Your back hurts. Another body part hurts all the time. It makes you mad. The pain drives you crazy. You just want to pick something up and throw it across the room? If you can, at the Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic, you get complete chiropractic care and pain relief to help you move better, have a less painful life, and of course, achieve a healthier lifestyle. The Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic is now located at two locations in Savannah, Georgia at 329 Eisenhower Drive and in Pooler at 114 Canal Street, Suite 603. So visit Dr. Bart Weatherington at the Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic for all your chiropractic needs. And welcome back to the Call of the Massey Sports Report right here live from the center of the sports universe, all part of the Coach's Corner Sports Network, the Call of the Massey Sports Report. Hey, we got a lot going on. Uh, it's it's a chilly Saturday here in Savannah, Georgia. We got the Coach's Corner pit crew down in uh, Daytona. It's cold down there. John Henderson, Lawrence Bennett, and uh, Sean Herb down there uh, following Michael Carter racing. Uh, we're going to get a live report in our next segment. But what other better way than to talk about football on Division Championship Sunday, come down to Coach's Corner. All the TVs are here, 60 TVs. But, you know, this man played for Benedictine. He played at Georgia. He played for uh, four or five, I think four or five NFL teams or uh, Arena Football League. I got his list right here. But he's going to be joining us live now on the Coach's Corner hot seat, Josh Millard. Okay, he played for the Falcons, the Broncos, the Bengals. Uh, he's played arena arena football, but he all started. He started it all at Benedictine Military School. Now he's at uh, he's doing his own thing here in Savannah, Georgia. I mean, the guy started so many businesses. I don't even know where to begin. But joining me now is Josh Millard. Josh, how's it going? It's going great, sir. How are you? Hey, you know, I, I know you're a busy man, and uh, we see each other very regularly now. But uh, once again, uh, I appreciate you doing this because I know you're out there doing your businesses. Like I told the people, you got so many businesses, I don't even know. How, I don't even know if I have enough fingers for those businesses. But uh, uh, everything's going great. So how how are you doing, man? I'm just out here trying to make a living, watching this football. I'm so <laughs> proud of the dogs. I'm so proud of the cadets. I mean, for a football fan, I don't think it's a better time. Well, I mean, uh, you, you've done it all. And, uh, like, I've had you on my show before on the radio or here on the Internet show. I mean, uh, I, I moved down here in 1995, and uh, I coached at Jenkins High School. And, of course, Benedictine was in that region with us. And uh, oh, you got you got to watch this kid. He, he's unbelievable. We put five guys on you. We couldn't b- block you when you were a Benedictine. And uh, it was simply amazing to watch you grow, go to Georgia, make a big impact to Georgia, and, uh, and, of course, go on to the NFL. But uh, talk about the cadets. I mean, three state championships – in the last uh, 11 years with Danny Britt, you got to be impressed with what the man's doing over there on Sea Right Drive. I mean, impressed would, I don't even think it's the word. It's, um, I mean, it's blown my mind, really. Um, just from all the football I've played, I would give it all back. Everything I've done to have a state championship for Benedictine. So that's how much it would have meant to me to have one. So I just hope these kids really appreciate it. You know, what is so magical about Benedictine? I know you've been out of there a long time, but every time you talk to these kids, you talk to alumni, it's it, it, it's a special place. You know, it really is. Um, I've traveled all over and I've met a lot of people, and it always seems to come up. You talk about your high school, and I like to talk about the friends that I've made and the connections I've made from Benedictine. It's, it's really interesting how I still talk to the same 10 guys that I graduated <laughs> high school with almost daily. And you just don't get that. And, I, and I'm and i not saying that's just Benedictine. I think that's the culture here in Savannah. And I just think that's we're all really lucky to be here. And I, and, I, and I believe that Benedictine, 
um, is just one of those places that, man, you, you go the rest of your life with the same guys that you went to high school with and, you know, you get yelled at together in class and, you, and then you, you know, you play these high level sports together and, and you go into business together and you just you grow old together. Uh, I know it's special and you, you're been a big part of uh, Savannah, Georgia, and then your talents got you up to uh, the, the, uh, the field between the hedges, Stanford stadium and the bulldogs. And uh, I mean, you lived, you lived it there and now, Hey, in 41 years, finally, the dogs are national champions again. How was that uh, experience? Oh, it's great. It's great. It's the best part about it is the fact that all my friends and all my colleagues, you know, they're they got smiles on their faces because if they <laughs> lost, we would we would we would all been uh, suppressed here in Savannah. We would have had another. I mean, who knows what would happen? The economy here would have just tanked. But thank God the dogs pulled it out because that's the best thing that could have happened for Savannah. What were you so impressed with this year's football team over the you know the past past twenty years that you've been watching it that uh, you know this team was something special up there with uh, Kirby Smart and those dogs? Well, what I noticed was I don't, and you're probably gonna think I'm crazy for saying this, but I don't think this is the most talented team Georgia's had in the last twenty or thirty years. I think some of the teams I played on had the most talent. When you look at, you know, the Richard Seymour's, the Marcus Strouds, we had Quincy Carter at quarterback, Champ Bailey, Heinz Ward, all these guys on the same team. And we couldn't win a national championship. I don't know if it's because other teams had the talent as well, but I, I believe what Kirby's done is there's not a lot of individuals on this team, even though they're all great athletes and they do have some superstars, don't get me wrong. He's done a very, very good job of making them play as a team and not go out and doing their own thing. Well, it, it's just been something special to watch this team, this year's team. And, you know, being, you know, people don't know that they used to call you the demon and the psycho. And you were a defensive lineman. You know, I, I read up on you again last night. I, I, I didn't know about why they called you psycho, but uh, I, I found that also uh, when, you know, uh, through the Cincinnati Bengals uh, uh, links. But, uh, I mean, you play defense there. Now, personally, the defense was very good. But do you think the defense was the greatest in Georgia history? I wouldn't. It's, it's hard to say. Like I said, I don't think that it's the most talented defense by a long shot. But they played like a team. They did what their coaches said. And that goes a long way. So, I mean, the, the stats don't lie. So they have to be. They have to be called the greatest defense in Georgia history. I, I'm not saying they're the best athletes in Georgia history, but they're definitely the best defense. <laughs> I know. The, the junkyard dog still uh, prevailed this year and uh, way back when Eric Russell was the defense coordinator. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm talking to Josh Millard, former Benedictine cadet, former UGA uh, uh, Bulldog, former uh, NFL football player. He's taking the time to come on and talk about some football here in Savannah, Georgia. Once again, it's all part of the Call of the Monster Sports Board. All right. So uh, you've lived it, you've played it, NFL football. I mean, we're down to four teams. One of them you played for, the Bengals. What's been your outlook in, uh, you know, that Kansas City-Buffalo game last week? Give us some insight of uh, what's going on in the NFL in these playoffs. You know, it's, the key to these games, it's, it's no secret, right? It's which quarterback doesn't throw interceptions and which uh, defensive line gets to the quarterback. So that's, that's what I'm really excited to see. Um, each team's got a superstar defense alignment and, um, you know, each team's got either a superstar quarterback or a, a quarterback that can manage a game as well as anybody. So I'm looking forward to watching these games for sure. Now, you know, people don't realize, you know, the, the difference between high school to college and college to uh, NFL. Give us your experience, uh, you know, playing on those three levels. Well, it's... Um, <clears throat> Obviously, it's the cliche that, you know, there's everyone's an All-American in college. But, you know, when you get to the pros, not only are the All-Americans there, but then you have these guys that are superstars um, athletically, but also they're superstars um, in just the way they live their life and the way they do things. And what I mean by that is you have these pros, you have some pros out there that are excellent at what they do, but then you have these pros that are the top of what they do and now you're trying to compete with these guys 
And it's, you know what, it's like, it's like night and day from college to pro. So I really think that jump from college to pro was way harder than high school to college. Well, okay. So you, you lived, you've, you've lived the dream. You played in the NFL. Uh, tell us what these guys are going to be experienced today as far as such a big time football game. Well, just making a playoff in itself is, is an accomplishment for an NFL player. I know many superstars that didn't even make it to the playoffs. So to make it, you know, to a conference championship, um, these guys, it's their Super Bowl. So I, I can tell you right now, everyone's excited on the, in the locker room. Everyone's excited um, during their walkthroughs today. I think they're nervous at the same time. Um, these guys aren't probably used to having that nervous feeling, but I can assure you, everyone's nervous today. Yeah, big time, big time. So uh, we'll be we'll be watching that all uh, week. All right, so let's turn the other hat now. Josh Millard, the businessman. All right, tell everybody what you're up to and uh, how you're involved. You're big into the COVID nineteen, uh, helping people with the COVID nineteen pandemic. So tell everybody. Uh, let, let's catch up with Josh Millard, the uh, the businessman now. Well, I don't know if I'd call it a business. Um, I've always been in, in the lab space and in the pharmacy space. And when COVID happened, I just kind of threw my hat in the middle and said, I can help out with this. And I didn't realize um, how many people needed help. So it's really taken all my time. We've, we've been lucky. I've got some really good staff here in Savannah. I've got um, guys that I grew up with, went to high school with um, that have come to help me. And, um, you know, our goal is help Savannah any way we can. If it's helping with COVID, if it's cutting grass, really just do your part. And my part just happens to be COVID testing. Well, yeah, you're doing a great job. You're helping us out here with the kids in, uh, in the public schools, uh, helping us test them all, keep them safe, and hopefully stay on the, the field. And, yeah, you know, and, you know, you're in the pharmaceutical area, your arena, and you're, you're part of that medical field. Do you think this is something going to stay? Is it going to die down? Uh, what's your perspective? Uh, you know, because you deal with all these doctors and these uh, uh, pharmaceutical companies. Do they see this dying down soon? You know, I'll speak to one doctor who's the top of, of, of his industry, and he'll tell me that next month it's going to be over. I'll talk to the CD, someone that knows someone at the CDC, and it's going to stay like this for two years. So really just a general person and um, thoughts on point as someone I've spoken to that knows for sure what's going to happen. So I personally believe that it's going to get weaker and weaker. The next string that comes out is going to get weaker. And eventually we're just going to throw our hands up and we're going to deal with it. And we're all going to go to school. We're going to take off the mask. There's going to be people that get sick. Um, hopefully, um, like I said, it gets weaker and weaker and no one's you know, going to be bedridden. Um, hopefully it's just going to be a cold and it's going to be something that we're just going to, if it wasn't for COVID, we wouldn't even be talking about it. <laughs> well, Josh, I appreciate what you're doing. Uh, help me out on the other side of what's going on here with the pandemic. And of course, help me out this morning talking about football. Last question. I know you're going to hesitate on this one. All right. Two teams got to go to Super Bowl. What two teams are going to uh, make it after tomorrow's football games? How about I tell you who I want to make it? That, that perfect. Who do you want to make it? Well, of course, I want my Georgia boy to win a Super Bowl, okay? So I want the Rams in there. And I like to root for the underdog. I was underdog my whole life. I've always been an overachiever. So I really want to see the Bengals in there. No one else thinks they have a shot. The odds makers don't think they have a shot. I would love to see the Bengals play the Rams, and I would love to see the Rams win it. Uh, I, I know you got to keep that bulldog blood in you, Matthew, Matthew Stafford. I always thought he was one of the best to come out of Georgia. Uh, you know, he went to an uh, organization that uh, didn't excel much, and they still haven't excelled much. I think they're one of the only few teams never to make it to the Super Bowl, the Detroit Lions. So uh, I, I, that's who I'm rooting for. I'm going with I'm going with the Rams, and I want to see the underdog beat the uh, the Chiefs, the Bengals. So it'll be a lot of fun to watch. I know you you got a lot to do. You're on the road like usual. I don't know if you ever get home and take time for yourself, but I appreciate it. I'll see you probably during the week and talk to you. Once again, thanks for doing this. And uh, once again, go dogs, go cadets. Go dogs. Thank you, sir. Have a good one, Josh. Be safe. Sir, thank you. You too. I mean, I had a coach against that guy. We couldn't stop him. We double teed him. 
We triple teamed him. Josh Millard had a Benedictine playing nose guard. He was in our backfield all night long, okay, or how many years we coached against him. So uh, he graduated, I think, in 97, so I had to face him uh, 95, 96. <laughs> so two years I had to face that guy on the other side of the ball. You couldn't stop him. He was a man-child. Goes up to UGJ, does a great job, and uh, he gets a chance to play in the uh, NFL, gets drafted by the Colts. Uh, you know, he had his stints, but uh, once again, and he's helping the community. Uh, I know it's his business, but, you know, if I ask his company to take a kid right away to check him for COVID-19, no questions asked. I can get that kid in the door, and he'll help me out. So, uh, once again, Josh Millard, Savannah, Georgia, proud, cadets, bulldogs, and the NFL. We're both going with the Rams and the Bengals. I know. I agree with 100%. That's who I'd, I'd like to see to win. In reality, who wins? We'll find out tomorrow. All right, once again, we're going to go live to Daytona. For the coach's corner, pit crew at Michael Carter Racing um, Miata MX-5 race series starting out in Daytona. Tough day for my, Michael yesterday. We'll let them tell us about it. You're watching the Call of the Master Sports Sport live here uh, uh, at, at, at Coach's Corner, the center of the sports universe, all part of the Coach's Corner Sports Network. I'll be back in three minutes with the guys, John Henderson, of course, the producer, Lawrence Bennett from Rubbin' and Grubbin'. All time, that's Coach's Corner and Thunderbolt. Coach's Corner has been both the best in Savannah for 20 years running, and it's no wonder why. Sports, live music, delicious and generous portions of pub food, all for our fans. No matter what the season, there's always a reason to check out Coach's Corner. It's always game time at Coach's Corner. Pick your favorite sport, pick your favorite team, and pick a TV, and Coach's Corner is your place. Coach's Corner is always open for lunch, dinner, and now breakfast Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 10.30. But remember, Coach's Corner still has takeout service. John Harrison and Coach's Corner crew have smoked Boston Bush, ribs, and chicken on the grill. You can place your order by calling Coach's Corner at 912-352-2933. That's 912-352-2933. As always, make it a night remember at Coach's Corner. At Calvary Day School, we want our students to be fully equipped and on the cutting edge of academics making a difference in our world. Your child will grow academically, physically, socially, and spiritually. At Calvary, it is so good to say we are one school with one mission and one vision. Faith, academics, excellence, and building champions through Christ. Calvary Day School would consider a privilege to meet with your family personally. Call Philip Lee, Director of Admissions at 351-2299. That's 351-2299. For over half a century, it comes in uniforms, sporting goods, or trophies. Thompson's got you covered. From cleats to caps and best prices on the biggest brands, Under Armour, Adidas, and more. From baseball to soccer, volleyball to softball, and yes, football too. Every season starts at Thompson Sports Shop. From cutting and equipped at Thompson Sports Shop to new locations, 6606 Abercorn Street Suite 102. In Savannah, as it's Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in seasonal on Saturdays. At locally owned Thompson Sporting Goods and Trophies, come see where everyone is a Yo, winner. you still want some real New York Deli and Italian food? Bada bing, bada boom. Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering is open at 7630 Skidaway Road in Savannah, Georgia during this social distancing problem. Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering will take calls for pickup at 912-354-2914. That's 912-354-2914. On the phone, Kabish. If you want Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering goods delivered, go to savtakeout.com savtakeout.com to place the order. Remember, Rocky's Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Caring. We ain't New York style. We are Rhodes New York. and Chiropractic Clinic. Your back hurts. Another body part hurts all the time. It makes you mad. The pain drives you crazy. You just want to pick something up and throw it across the room? If you can, at the Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic, you get complete chiropractic care and pain relief to help you move better, have a less painful life, and of course, achieve a healthier lifestyle. The Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic is now located at two locations in Savannah, Georgia at 329 Eisenhower Drive and in Pooler at 114 Canal Street, Suite 603. So visit Dr. Bart Weatherington at the Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic for all your chiropractic needs. And good morning, sports fans. It's the coach, Carl Tomasi, live from the center of the sports universe. Over my shoulder, Coach's Corner, no better place to be. It's all part of the Coach's Corner Sports Network. And the man himself, 
uh, who, who gives me that opportunity. He's down at Daytona Beach. That's right. We're going to talk to the coach's corner pit crew for Michael Carter Racing in Daytona, Florida at the first of the season's race of the Miata MX-5 Cup. Uh, Michael Carter, young guy, uh, energetic. I mean, I interviewed him a couple of times on my show because of his go-kart skills and his swimming skills. That's right. He was a swimmer, Benedictine. He's at Georgia Tech now. I'm pretty sure he's a junior in business, but he's also a race car draw driver. He won this series uh, two years ago. He finished second last year. And no other guy locally jumps on it and says, you know what? I'm sponsoring this kid. He's known the kid and his father for a long time, and he's done a great job. But this is what John Henderson's all about, the community. He backs the community. So he's down here in Daytona. He's freezing a little, but the chief of the Coach's Corner Pit Crew in Daytona, Florida, John Henderson. Hey, how, Good look, morning. he's got a scully on. He's got his winter jacket on. How cold is it down there, buddy? It's pretty doggone cold down here, Carl. It is uh it came in last night hard, and uh, we we we're we're bundled up. Let's say that we're very cold. <laughs> so uh, you know, what's, we'll we'll get to the uh, Super Fest uh, festivities here coming up in February, the Super Bowl. But I mean, you know, John, you're you're a humble guy, but you've helped this young guy out. If you look on the front of his car, across big white letters, Coach's Corner. What does it mean to support a kid like this? And of course, the family, because you know. Mick, uh, they call him Mickey Carter, Mickey, Car Mickey Carter. Mickey. But mm -hmm. so, tell us what it means to be part of this thing. Man, it's a, it's a privilege to be a part of a racing team like uh, Carter Racing, and uh, we were uh, fortunate to be able to help them out last year and continue this year as well. Um, started off on a little bit of a rough note yesterday. Um, our first race Thursday, we had a good showing. We were, uh, I think, we finished sixth place. Um, had had some good good runs, and then uh, of course yesterday, if you didn't know. Michael uh, got a little squirrely and went into the wall and uh, had some pretty significant damage to his car. Um, he's he's fine. He's you know he's healthy. He's not hurt. And uh, the car took a little, little bit of a, a pretty pretty big big bang into the wall. Um, but the team already has it back. Had it back in the pits yesterday, tear, tearing it down, getting it rebuilt for the next race. Yeah, I know. I saw the pictures, and uh, it took out. He took out the uh, the right side. Uh, he hit the wall. I think it was was it lap one already. Was no, it early it in the race? Lap, lap three, I think it was. Yeah. Lap three. So yeah. I know the on Thursday, he finished in seventh, eight seconds off the lead, and he was coming back for the second round. Uh, and he and he's won this race two years ago, didn't he? Yep, yep. And uh, we were – we were it, the weather was pretty weird. It was not raining, but it was misting really heavy. And uh, Michael wanted to race the slick tires instead of the rain tires, and that might have had a little bit to do with the play of the, of the, the wreck. Um, they, they were racing down on the bottom and hit those yellow lines that are really, you know, wide yellow lines and it, it just got him slick and turned. So, uh, but yeah, it, it was, it was a bad hit, but you know, they're going to get back in this and, and get back to, to winning races again. So, you know, what's, what's this like watching a local kid that you've seen since he's been crawling? Cause the dad shop is right around the block. He probably came here many times for some coaches corners wings, but watching this kid grow, uh, it's gotta be special. It's really special, uh, Carl. Um, he, he, I, I remember Michael as a, a 12, 13 year old kid coming in coaches. And uh, that's when he really got his, you know, he got his opportunity. He went out to Roblin Road and raced with some, uh, his dad and some of his friends and uh, turned lap times that none of those guys could turn. And uh, that really kicked him into to the race career he's in now. And, you know, I, I, I know your daughter just graduated from UGA, but he's a Georgia Tech boy. But, it, you know, to watch, watch him. Uh, with his time management, with racing and going to Georgia Tech, I mean, that's pretty pretty unbelievable. Most people can't just go to school and and and, and pass and, and you know and do what he's doing by, by having a race team and doing that. It's amazing. I mean, they'll be going to Milwaukee. They're going to go to Sebring. They're going to go to California. I mean, they, they, this race team goes all over the country. I mean, there's only like I think eight eight races, um, but they're all over the country. So they put a lot of time and effort and money into this sport. Hey, it's more road trips for the Coach's Corner pit crew. Well, I don't know about, about Milwaukee or California, but we'll try to go to all we can <laughs> around here. And I'll tell it's, you what, it, it's fun to see that there's, there's thousands of Winnebago's and campers out here. Uh, the race fans are a unique group of people. It's fun to be around them. Everybody's really nice. Thank you. And like, uh, when we got here, we came down here thinking we had everything. Boy, we were wrong. <laughs> we didn't have hoses we needed. We didn't have, you know, neighbor gives us a hose. I mean, it's been great. Did have some furnace issues last night too. 
Um, we we had, my, my good friend Sean Herb, who I love to death, bailed on us early this morning, <laughs> and he is on his way back to Savannah to see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's that cold for that good old boy, eh? Uh, well, uh, let's just say he didn't have a good sleeping arrangement last night. <laughs> So, all right, and if you just tuned in, it's the call of Demasi Sports Port, live from Coach's Corner, Center of Sports Universe, all part of the Coach's Corner Sports Network. And don't forget, there's 60 TVs here, or as Lawrence Bennett, the producer, has uh, has said, gazillion TVs. We got the NFL championships, division championships, conference championships tomorrow here at Coach's Corner. And then coming up in February, it's a tradition, the Superfest. So let's talk some Superfest there. Uh, John, tell us about it. Well, we're excited to have a Superfest uh, 2022, and um, this year we've uh, we got some great bands coming in. Uh, on Friday night, we're going to have a local, uh, Thomas Claxton and the Myth, uh, great band if you haven't seen him before, and then on uh, the same night, Friday, we'll have, uh, oh, no, no, we're, we're going to have um, um, uh, Dropkick Drop Tur Drop Drop Turbo, another local band, really, really good guys, great music. Saturday, uh, we'll kick it off uh with FAQ uh, opening up for uh, the Back in Black ACDC tribute, and then of course Saturday, uh, Saturday is going to be a little bit of a bittersweet. We, uh, we we lost one of our good friends, Keith Daniels, this year, and it used to be Jason Keith and Ross, and this year it's going to be Jason Ross and friends, and it's going to be a tribute to Keith Daniels. So uh, it's going to be a really special day before the, before the Super Bowl starts on Sunday. Oh yeah, and oysters all weekend long. So we'll have we'll have thousands of pounds of oysters. So come out and get you some good oysters. Hey, can you help me out? This Southern Yankee wants some clams. We can't get clams here in Savannah, Georgia. Where are the clams? I, I think we can get you some clams. We'll try Cherry to get Nick? you some clams. We'll get you some clams, I promise you. <laughs> I, I'm I don't still know learning. how to cook them, but, you know, we'll get them for you. <laughs> I, I mean, I know how to shuck them, so just bring them down here. I used to go All clamming right. as a kid, and I moved down here. Everybody wants oysters. I want some clams, okay? So, uh, but anyway... Uh, uh, we got it all week long, uh, you know, start with Super Bowl Sunday. But uh, once again, you're down there. So uh, what goes on today for uh, the Coach Corner uh, pit crew? Well, uh, we have a good crew of people down here. Um, Richard Pappy, Quentin Coward, uh, Jay Javits. We have a bunch of us down here. And uh, the actual Rolex 24 hours, of Ro 24 hours of Daytona starts today at like 140. 140. And that race goes 24 hours. That's why it's called 24 hours. 24 hour race where they'll end on Sunday at uh at 1:40 as well. So uh, we might not get a lot of sleep because we are right outside the track on turn three, and you'll we'll hear those cars running by all night long. Well, so I appreciate it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, like you guys always do. That's right. We, so we we know how to have fun, don't we? Oh, we do. We do. You guys do. I got I to gotta try and get away one weekend and do this. Lawrence Bennett, he goes every weekend, so I got to see if my wife will let me do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> I, think, I think his wife's expecting him home today, and I don't know if that's going to happen. Don't tell anybody that. Hopefully she's not watching. I hope so, not. <laughs> we'll so. see in a minute. <laughs> All right, and uh, one last thing. Uh, we started something new last uh, – last, uh, well, this month. Okay, it's not last month. With this month at the BC uh, Watch Party with Danny Britt, the Coach's Corner Coach of the Month. I mean, how special is that to you? Coach's Corner is going to have their own Coach of the Month, and it could be anybody from youth sports to college or whoever you want to nominate, right? That's right. Coach, you know, I'm not taking credit for this because it was your idea, and we appreciate all you do for us and the sports show and the community. Um, yeah, we're, we're proud to be able to give a Coach's Corner Coach of the Month award out each month. And uh, you, you had the nice plaque made, and I, man, we throw a gift card in there. And uh, just a way to give the coaches in the community something to tell them we appreciate them and how good they did. You know, the adults got to get some credit here, don't they? That's right. That's right. So, all right. Tell Lawrence, I know he's shy. Uh, he should be coming on, but we know how he is, John. Oh, I can spin this phone around. Hold on. Say hey, Lawrence. Hey, Coach. How are you? Lawrence, how's it going down here in good old Daytona? Good. Well, I'll tell you, we're having a good time. It's chilly, but we're having a good time, Coach. Not we're as good as Jackie Yeah. Look at there. Nice, official, nice. Yeah. Nice. You guys are official. The Coach's Corner pit crew. But, I, I, I mean, it, is this as special as sleeping out uh, on the teepee every night? It, it's very similar, but, <laughs> but a lot colder. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you guys doing this. Once again, Superfest, February 11th, 12th, and 13th. Whole slate of uh, bands coming in. Uh, you guys do a great job. And, uh, like, uh, are you, you grubbing food, I hopefully? I know you're watching the rubbing. Are you grubbing food? 
Oh, we're we're eating like kings. Uh, Adele, <laughs> she set us up with lasagna, chicken and rice. I mean, we're we're gonna eat steaks tonight, and uh, about to make us a it. bacon and mayonnaise sandwich in a minute. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, did, did you have those tom bacon. Did you bring the tomahawk steaks with you? Uh, we 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 might have drank them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. Tell Mikey Carter I'm rooting for him, and uh, once again, uh, keep it going. I appreciate you guys doing this early in the morning. Will do, Coach. Thanks for all you do, man. We really hey. appreciate you. Well, you, you you guys are a lot of help. Uh, John Henderson and Lawrence Bennett having a lot of fun down there in Daytona. John. D. Enjoy it. Here we are. We are. We'll give you a report later, Coach. I got you. Thank you, bud. These guys love what they're doing. They they, they they support our local athletes. They support our local sports. Uh, you know, like I said, we got Rub and Grub and Wednesday nights. Uh, Atlanta man, Brandon Bainton, is the front runner. But that man right there, Lawrence Bennett, he's the man behind the technology and all that other stuff. And, of course, John Henderson letting us do what we do. Well, next up, we're going to bring it on. It's usually at 30, but it's going to be 945. We're going to have the coaches, uh, not the coaches, coaching it the month. We're going to have the Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic Athlete of the Week, Juwan Johnson from Calvary Day School. The kid is amazing. Just signed a national and tentacle play at Mercer, but he's also a heck of a basketball player and a track athlete. We'll be back in three minutes with the Athlete of the Week, the Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic Athlete of the Week. Stay tuned. Three minutes. All time, that's Coach's Corner and Thunderbolt. Coach's Corner has been both the best in Savannah for 20 years running, and it's no wonder why. Sports, live music, delicious and generous portions of pub food, all for our fans. No matter what the season, there's always a reason to check out Coach's Corner. It's always game time at Coach's Corner. Pick your favorite sport, pick your favorite team, and pick a TV, and Coach's Corner is your place. Coach's Corner is always open for lunch, dinner, and now breakfast Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 10.30. But remember, Coach's Corner still has takeout service. John Harrison and Coach's Corner crew have smoked Boston Bush, ribs, and chicken on the grill. You can place your order by calling Coach's Corner at 912-352-2933. That's 912-352-2933. As always, make it a night remember at Coach's Corner. At Calvary Day School, we want our students to be fully equipped and on the cutting edge of academics making a difference in our world. Your child will grow academically, physically, socially, and spiritually. At Calvary, it is so good to say we are one school with one mission and one vision. Faith, academics, excellence, and building champions through Christ. Calvary Day School would consider it a privilege to meet with your family personally. Call Philip Lee, Director of Admissions at 351 2299. That's 351 For over half a century, it comes in uniforms, sporting goods, or trophies. Thompson's got you covered. From cleats to caps and best prices on the biggest brands, Under Armour, Adidas, and more. From baseball to soccer, volleyball to softball, and yes, football too. Every season starts at Thompson Sports Shop. So come get equipped at Thompson Sports Shop's new location. 6606 Abercorn Street Suite 102 in Savannah. Every Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and seasonal on Saturdays. At locally owned Thompson Sporting Goods and Trophies, come see where everyone is a Yo, winner. you still want some real New York Deli and Italian food? Bada bing, bada boom. Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering is open at 7630 Skidaway Road in Savannah, Georgia during this social distancing problem. Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering will take calls for pickup at 912-354-2914. That's 912-354-2914 on the phone. Kabish. If you want Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering goods delivered, go to savtakeout.com savtakeout.com to place the order. Remember, Rocky's Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Caring. We ain't New York style. We are New York. Chiropractic Clinic. Your back hurts. Another body part hurts all the time. It makes you mad. The pain drives you crazy. You just want to pick something up and throw it across the room? If you can, at the Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic, you get complete chiropractic care and pain relief to help you move better, have a less painful life, and of course, achieve a healthier lifestyle. The Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic is now located at two locations in Savannah, Georgia at 329 Eisenhower Drive and in Pooler at 114 Canal Street, Suite 603. So visit Dr. Bart Weatherington at the Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic for all your chiropractic needs. Good morning, sports fans, and welcome to the Call of Tomasi Sports Report right here on the Coach's Corner Sports Network, all from 
the center of the sports universe coaches corner. Uh, once again, it, the show's going quick. Had a couple of glitches to start the show, but you know what? The show goes on, okay? And I appreciate whether you watch it for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You know, it, it, it's something special to get these local kids some more PR. And that's what the show's all about. Uh, I know I've said it over and over again, and, you know, I'm old school, so I'm a broken record. I just keep on going and going over the same things. But this is why I do it. It's for the kids. And this young man is something special. He did a uh, football camp last month, uh, not only to help kids get their football skills better, but to, to raise uh, gifts or uh, needs for uh, females. I mean, he's a humble young man. You could say he's following the Javante Middleton uh, prototype of uh, our young athletes here that love giving back to our community. And I mean, what, what more can I tell you except that, you know, he just signed his national letter of intent to go play at Mercer University. Okay. He's been a four-year football player at Calvary Day School, four-year basketball player at Calvary Day School. I'm pretty sure he's run three years of track, but he's got a little uh, injury that he's got to take care of. So I don't know if he's going to get track this year, but uh, once for putting on that clinic, helping the females in the community, uh, he also, his senior year was the leader Calvary went on a great run. He had 36 tackles, four for a loss, five interceptions, four passes defended. He earned the All Greatest Savannah Morning News first team honors, uh, all Region 3A private. Uh, I mean, and he does a great job on the basketball court because I could see him never to stop him and his guys over there at Calvary Day School. But uh, this is what Coach Stroud had to say to Dennis Knight in the Savannah Morning News. Juwan is a real tough player. And what has set him apart this year is that he turned it loose and played with no fear. He's always had the talent, and when it came to play with no fear or failure, he became even better. He's a physical, smart player, and he saved his best high school year for the last year. And I think Mercer is getting a a a, a uh, getting a steal by signing Jawan Johnson. Joining me live this week's Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic coach. Coach, <laughs> all right, Jawan, I got to slow down. You know, I'm in the fast talking Italian. I go too fast. Okay. This week's Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic after the week from Calvary Day School, senior student athlete, Jawan Johnson. And you always got a smile on that face, but thanks for coming on, Jawan. No problem, no problem. Thank you for having me. You know, I've watched you grow, and uh, you, you've really impressed a lot of people from that young freshman now to that, you know, that uh, that senior that's ready to go on to the next level. And uh, you've made a lot of people proud, and you love what you do. And I, I got to commend you, because not many – High school students would put on a clinic. You want to help defensive, uh, you know, young players learn defensive back skills. You got a group mm -hmm. of great guys to come in and help you. And you also got products donated so you can help the females in the community. That that says a lot about you, buddy. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. So, all right, let's talk a little about football. That's why we got you here. Well, I know you also want to talk about basketball, too, because, mm -hmm. you know, I can, can seem to never beat you guys. But uh, <laughs> football, uh, sports, when, when did you start playing? Uh, I started playing when I was four. This year, first time in the hell was when I was four. Was it football, basketball? What, what? Uh, football. Have you ever tried baseball? I started baseball when I was seven, and Coach I played Lee? it till I was till I was eleven. Yeah. Coach Lee can't get you on a diamond, eh? Nah, <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> over with. So I mean, you've had an exceptional career. You've played defense mostly. Have you ever, have you ever played offense? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I played both ways my sophomore year. And then once uh, the offers started coming in for defense, I just stayed on the defensive side of the ball. All right, so you had 35 tackles, five interceptions, uh, uh, you know, uh, deflections and all this other stuff. If I had to ask Coach Stroud what your best football skill is, what would he tell me? Now, it just doesn't have to be physical. It could be mental, too. Uh, he would definitely say uh, my high IQ for the game, definitely. Can you see things happening before it gets there? Uh, I do. That helped me out a lot. Definitely. Now, what's what's better, picking a pass off or bringing a smack? Ooh, that's a <laughs> tough one. Uh, it really depends on what the timing of the game. If it's the beginning of the game, definitely a hit. But if it's later on, a pick for sure. Sets the tone for the game, right? Yeah. Does <laughs> so, all right. So, um, you're you're a three sport athlete. You also run track, but I know you're gonna wait till after basketball season. You got to get your thumb taken care of. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, what's your routine? At what has been your routine over the last four years to make you a better athlete? Whatever sport you're playing, really, just working out, 
it was either my dad or my brother Sauce, just stand on top of my game, perfecting my craft, really. All right, tell everybody who Sauce is. Uh, Javante Middleton. That's that's like my big brother. That's yeah, my that's role a, model. Yes, sir. It's a, a, yes, it's a great role model, and you already beat me to that question. So if you had someone that you look up to, that would be a role model. Tell us what Javante brings to uh, Juwan. Uh, he brings a lot. Like that's one person that's gonna always push me for sure. No matter if I'm feeling bad, just want to chill out. He always, man, come on, man, let's go work. We're going to work, and I'm the same way for him. So it's just we always push each other. We learn a lot from each other. Now you've been at Calvary since you're a freshman, right? Yes, sir. All right. I'm and sorry played- to hear that. Talking to. A- <laughs> That's Siri for you. You don't know when she's going to jump in there, Juwan. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you've played four years of football at Calvary Day School. What game has stood out the most for you? What's What's been your, uh, you know, what, what's been your big game? Anything this year, last year? Um, My breakout game was my sophomore year against Savannah Christian at Savannah Christian. I had a, I had a great game in that game. That's when people start to know who Jawan really was. That's that was my breakout game. But for this year, I would say my best game was Strong Rock Christian. My last homecoming game. First play of the game, I set the tone with a big forced fumble hit. That's that just brought the whole momentum for the whole game. Got everybody going, right? Yes, sir. All right. And tell us about Calvary Day School. Uh what's it been like uh, playing football there? It's a great school. Everything is just like we have like the brotherhood. It's just it, it builds like it's a great school to go to. Great school to play for. Coach Stroud, he's he's big on brotherhood. So we all just buy into that and just be a unit and just have fun doing it. All right. And, and you know, you play football, you play basketball, you play track or you run track, you don't play track, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, take those three sports out of the picture. What's one sport you would like to do if you couldn't do those three sports? Ooh, probably baseball. Yeah. Baseball? Yeah. Tough sport. You got to be able to hit that thing coming at you like at 90 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so it's tough. If you just joined in, we're at the Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic Athlete of the Week on the Call Demasi Sports Report. This young man, Juwan Johnson, just signed his national letter of intent to go play football, continue his academic and – uh, sports career at uh, Mercer University up there in Macon. Good school, great academic school. Uh, and he's done a lot of other things. What made you come up with the idea of uh, doing this uh, camp to help uh, younger football players get better with their defensive back skills? Uh, just talking with my brother Sauce. And just feels like uh, this DBs need like a more – like people need – people don't need – like they don't know the right technique. So we just came together and was like, let's just – Let's just do that to uh, help people get their technique right, learn from each other, and learn from me. And then and while we thought about that, we thought about giving back as well. And we came up with different uh, things to give back to. And the woman's thing was the thing that clicked for us. Yeah, Women's Foundation, uh, uh, collecting sanitary uh, need products, which is, you know, uh, great to do. Uh, I mean, and especially in COVID-19 with everything disappearing off the shelves everywhere. So, you know. That was a great idea. And it's always – and Javante's – oh, he's talking about Sauce. If you don't know who Sauce is, it's Javante Middleton, H.V. Jenkins High School. Uh, uh, great kid. Gives back to the community all the time. And uh, he's big into supporting and giving back, which is something everybody should look into. And he, Juwan uh, came up with the idea, let's do a, a DB's camp. And uh, they, they've done that. They raise products for females. All right. So uh, we know that you're into football. We know you're into sports. Tell us something that people don't know about Juwan Johnson. Ah, that's tough. Um, well, I'm the only sibling at home, so that's that's something. But Two brothers and sisters, eh? Well, at home, at home. At home, okay. Yeah. So they're all they're all out of the house, eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what do you like? What do you enjoy doing besides sports? Uh, really, just chilling out with my friends. That's. That's always a good time with them. Just going out to eat, relaxing, having a great conversation, laughing. That's nice. what they like to do is laugh. <laughs> That's what they. 
Hey, you know, Juwan, you always have a smile on your face. You bring that electricity. You bring that warmth. So keep it up. I mean, it's something special every time I see you. You got that big smile on your face. So it, <laughs> it's something special. Don't lose it, buddy, because we need a lot of people to smile more in this world. It, it's something that needs to be done. So um, as far as um, past teammates, I know I know you look up to Javante Middleton, but what about past teammates? Any any past teammate that you look up to? Um, That whole senior class my freshman year. The Quan, the Quan Dows, Jalen Leary, all those guys, definitely. Because they helped me from when I became a senior. I learned a lot from them. Like, just leading, taking, just trusting the process. Definitely those guys. Well, you're going to be right up there. Dows is Georgia Tech. Uh, uh, Leary's over at Stetson. So, I mean, there's a lot of Calvary football players out there. Fuchsia okay. Lewis at Georgia State. So, you're, 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 you're joining a, a big group, of course, don't forget, DeMarcus Dobbs came out of there, played at UGA, went on to the NFL. Yeah. So uh, you got you got a lot of things going for you there. Uh, so you talked about you're the only one at home. There's no siblings there. But what what is your family support meant to you? I mean, they were all at your signing. Tell us about your family. What they've uh, how they've helped you get to where you are now. Uh, it meant a lot. They they, just, they could continue to oh, they continue to push me throughout my whole life since I first picked up a ball. It just pushed me. We, we worked as a family. Like, those people, I don't know what I would do without them. That's, <laughs> I don't know what you I know, would do. There's a saying that goes, you're going to make a lot, a lot of friends, but there's only going to be one group that's going to be with you forever, and that starts with the F, the family. They're, yes. they're always going to be with you. They're always going to have you back. When you need something, they're going to be there. And, and you wouldn't be where you are today without that support, without exactly. that push, without that drive. So, yeah, it, it definitely is something special. All right, and uh, we got a couple more questions and uh, like two or three. You just said you looked up to the senior class when you were a freshman. So if you had that young kid come up to you, that young, young Juwan Johnson comes up to you and say, Juwan, what do I need to do to get to where you're at? What would you tell him? Uh, mindset first, mindset. My freshman year, I came into uh, high school thinking, oh, I'm not going to play that much. Just wait till I'm a junior or senior to start playing. But I would tell them to take it serious from day one. Day one, take it serious. That that that'll be that would be my thing. For sure. yeah, something good is going to happen, right? If you really yeah. take it serious, like you have. So, uh, all right, you announced your choice Wednesday. Uh, Mercy University. Why Mercy University? Just felt like home. Everything. I felt I could be myself. My official visit. Everything just clicked. I had a great. Uh, a great relationship with the coaching staff. Everything just felt right. They uh, put me on my official visit. They put me inside their defensive game plan. And everything just fell through. Everything, I, I could play like myself, so that was the place I wanted to be at. And what did they to project you playing? What position? Um, safety slash nickelback, so I can okay. roll down a little bit, do what I did this year. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be quick to do that. You know that. So how quick are you in that 40-yard dash? I run a four five, so four pretty, five. Pretty and you good. still got room to grow because you haven't physically uh, filled out yet. So it might be a yeah. four 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 three, buddy. I hope so. <laughs> you got to get the source to give you some pointers. I'm faster than him. <laughs> <laughs> Javante, if you're watching, I call Javante the kid. You call him Source because uh, believe it or not, we did a couple of shows together. It was the coach and the kid. Uh, I, I got to find out, Javante. Maybe he'll be at the Jenkins game today. He'll let me know if that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so, you call him out, buddy. You call him out. He'll get me for that one. Well, uh, we got to meet at Daffin Park one day and see see what the truth is. I got you. I got you. All right, last question. I I know you, you're not thinking about it. You're ready to grad. You know, you're going to graduate high school. You're going to enter college. Any uh, aspirations? What you want to do after the uh, athletic career is over? What you might want to uh, get involved in? Uh, definitely, I want to start a restaurant. Start my own restaurant. That's that's always been my thing. Going Something up there, me and my for grandma the, talked about. So you're gonna get a good there. business degree up there at Mercy. You know that. Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely. They, they'll show you the ropes. Jerron, keep on smiling. I'm proud of you. Now, are you gonna do anything February second, or that was your signing day on Wednesday? Uh, no, sir. I'm just gonna support uh, everybody. That's my thing. Nice, nice. So uh, keep up the good work, and you got a game today in basketball, right? Uh, no, sir. It got canceled. So. Uh, uh yeah, COVID nineteen. Yeah. Coach, Coach Carver, uh, you know, he'll run you too, right? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's so special about Coach Carver? I mean, you got two great coaches there. Yeah. I learned a lot from him. I learned a lot. It's the little things for him. And I learned a lot. From so, my freshman year playing varsity to my senior year playing varsity, I've learned a lot. <laughs> so, all right, keep up the great work. And, uh, you know, you've had a great career, great job giving back to the community uh, last month. And uh, that's why you're this week's Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic Athlete Week. Keep it up. And uh, I'll, I'll see you before you graduate. We'll have a lot of fun. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having keep me. On, keep on smiling. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's contagious. <laughs> Thank Talk you. to you later, Juwan. All right. I mean, you want to talk about a kid that's humble, but always smiling, always having a good time, uh, always getting the people around him to have a good time. It, it's just, it's it's catching, it's electrifying, it, it's contagious. And uh, the kid is something special. Uh, great career over there at Calvary Day School. It's not done yet. Basketball team, you know, playoffs. And, uh, you know, I know he, he wants, you know, he was part of the track team, but a little thumb injury he's got to take care of. So uh, I wish him the best, and you're going to hear things about Jawan Johnson. You know, and you know what other better role model than Javante Sauce Middleton? So uh, I got to get them on the uh, football field, though. Jawan says he's faster than Javante. We got to see that's the B, the DB against another DB, also a former quarterback. So uh, we'll see what they can do. All right, we didn't shut the show on time. Got to go to my three steps in the door instead of three steps out of the door. Review all the sports that uh, I put together for for the beginning of the show. Uh, so uh, I'm going to bring that back and I'll be out of here. But you're watching the Call of Demasi Sports Report live from Coach's Corner. It's part of the Coach's Corner Sports Network. Got to thank John and Adele for letting me do this. We'll be back in three minutes to wrap this show up. All time, that's Coach's Corner and Thunderbolt. Coach's Corner has been both the best in Savannah for 20 years running. And it's no wonder why. Sports, live music, delicious and generous portions of pub food all for our fans. No matter what the season, there's always a reason to check out Coach's Corner. It's always game time at Coach's Corner. Pick your favorite sport, pick your favorite team, and pick a TV, and Coach's Corner is your place. Coach's Corner is always open for lunch, dinner, and now breakfast Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 10.30. But remember, Coach's Corner still has takeout service. John Harrison and Coach's Corner crew have smoked Boston Bush, ribs, and chicken on the grill. You can place your order by calling Coach's Corner at 912-352-2933. That's 912-352-2933. As always, make it a night remember at Coach's Corner. At Calvary Day School, we want our students to be fully equipped and on the cutting edge of academics making a difference in our world. Your child will grow academically, physically, socially, and spiritually. At Calvary, it is so good to say we are one school with one mission and one vision. Faith, academics, excellence, and building champions through Christ. Calvary Day School would consider a privilege to meet with your family personally. Call Philip Lee, Director of Admissions at 351-2299. That's 351-2299. For over half a century, it comes to uniforms, sporting goods, or trophies. Thompson's got you covered. From cleats to caps and best prices on the biggest brands, Under Armour, Adidas, and more. From baseball to soccer, volleyball to softball, and yes, football too. Every season starts at Thompson Sports Shop. From cutting and equipped at Thompson Sports Shop to new locations, 6606 Abercorn Street Suite 102 in Savannah. Open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and seasonal on Saturdays. At locally owned Thompson Sporting Goods and Trophies, come see where everyone is a Yo, winner. you still want some real New York Deli and Italian food? Bada bing, bada boom. Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering is open at 7630 Skidaway Road in Savannah, Georgia during this social distancing problem. Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering will take calls for pickup at 912-354-2914. That's 912-354-2914 on the phone. Kabish, if you want Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Catering goods delivered, go to savtakeout.com, savtakeout.com to place the order. Remember, Rocky's Rocky's New York Deli and Italian Caring. We ain't New York style. We are New York. Chiropractic Clinic. Your back hurts. Another body part hurts all the time. It makes you mad. The pain drives you crazy. You just want to pick something up and throw it across the room? If you can, at the Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic, you get complete chiropractic care and pain relief to help you move better, have a less painful life, and of course, achieve a healthier lifestyle. The Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic is now located at two locations in Savannah, Georgia at 329 Eisenhower Drive and in Pooler at 114 Canal Street, Suite 603. So visit Dr. Bart Weatherington at the Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic for all your chiropractic needs.
And welcome back to the Call of the Boston Sports Report right here on the Coach's Corner Sports Network, of course, live from Coach's Corner. I'm Carl Damasi. I'm here every Saturday morning uh, talking local sports, national sports, whatever sports there is to talk about. Just a sports fanatic, fanatic having fun for a long time. But the main purpose is to get our kids more exposure, our coaches more exposure. That's right. We'll have a Coach's Corner, Coach of the Month, every month. Started this month with Danny Britt from Benedictine. Hey, nominate a coach. Just like I tell you, nominated Athlete of the Week, Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic Athlete of the Week, Dr. Bart Weatherington has been doing this with me for over 12 years. So uh, now uh, Coach Corner is jumping on, and we're doing the Coach of the Month. All right, let's get these people some more recognitions. Got to thank Josh Millard, former Benedictine cadet, former UGA Bulldog, former NFL player for coming on, taking time. The man's busy, okay? He's got a you know, business that's involved in this COVID-19 pandemic. He does a great job. Uh, I got to thank him for coming on. Of course, I got to thank... The Coach's Corner Pit Crew down in Daytona, Florida. John Henderson and Lawrence Bennett coming on, telling us about Superfest. That's right, Super Superfest will be coming up uh, pretty soon. I also want to tell you the events that will be going on here uh, at the end of uh, doing all the information. So uh, get out here to Coach's Corner, especially tomorrow uh, or today. Uh, we got old basketball today. T tomorrow, don't forget, we got the uh, AFC and NFC Division Championships. Okay, you got the Bengals against the Chiefs, and we got the Rams I always forget the Rams are taking on who? Because I want the Rams to to win. Who are the Rams taking on, Coach? 49ers. <laughs> the 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo. Okay. Just been a, a great show. Got to thank them for coming on. But come out to Coach's Corner. I'll give you the events at the end of my uh, information segment. And, of course, Juwan Johnson, uh, Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic after week from Calvary Day School. All right. I usually do three steps in the door. What's three steps in the door? We talk high school news. We talk uh college news local colleges and then when of course we talk professionals that sort of related to savannah area so basketball last night uh big frank silkowski said uh you know uh it's driving him crazy being a journalist when you can't find all the scores and the cancellations it's tough because high school basketball games have been canceled because of COVID 19. uh it's not as drastic as it was two years ago where they shut everything down but games have been canceled uh we did have a full slate last night uh, I got all the scores I could find. First of all, we have local teams ranked. Uh, Windsor Forest is ranked number one in boys 3A. Groves is ranked number 10 in 3A. In girls, Calvary Day School in the Class A private was ranked number eighth going into this week. And Bryan County girls, Lady Redskins, Coach Mincy and that group over there, they were ranked second in Class A public. All right, the scoreboard, all right? Last night, girls basketball. Liberty County, 66. Windsor Forest, 26. Johnson, 81. Grove, 17. Glen Academy, 66. Effingham County, 24. New Hampstead, 54. South Effingham, 52. Barnburner. Uh, Island, 74. The Habersham School, 28. Savannah Country State, 58. Aquinas, 25. Statesboro, 53. Richmond Hill, 35. Bryan County, 55. Menor, 33. Calvary, 63. Savannah Christian, 47. Bullock Academy, 65. St. Andrews, uh, 16. Those are the scores that I could find on the internets, whether it be on Max Prep Sports, uh, whether it be on uh, um, social media, Twitter. Also, at the top of my other love, the Prep Sports Report, I have a sports ticket going that I will update the scores as soon as I get a chance today. You know, last night I had a game, so I couldn't get it on. So, uh, But if you go to PrepSportsReport.com, you can see the schedule going across the ticker. All right, boys basketball. Beach, 55, Southeast Bullock, 48, New Hampstead, 98, South Effingham, 45, St. Andrews, uh, 84, Bullock Academy, 40, Islands High School, 68, Habersham School, 55, Johnson, 83, Grove, 74. The game was triple overtime. Johnson beats Groves in triple overtime. Uh, Benedictine and Johnson, uh, sorry, Benedictine and Jenkins, Benedictine, 35-33. Defensive battle right there. Effingham County, 62. Glen Academy, 50. Calvary, 61. Savannah Christian, 51. Statesboro, 69. Richmond, 57. Liberty County, 52. Windsor Forest, 48. It's a big upset right there. If that's, uh, you know, what I got off the max preps. Wow. Liberty County beats Windsor Forest, 52-48. Uh, Savannah Country Day was at Aquinas. Do not have a score for that. And Meadow was at Bryan County. Did not find a score for that. There's a whole bunch of games going on. Uh... Today, check out the Prep Sports Report. I put an article up there with all the games that are taking place that are taking place this weekend. Check it out. 
then I got to go to this other sport that has started, soccer. That's right. Soccer is kicked off. Uh, let me go to my friend Cam Turner. Gave me the uh, – Cam Turner, Cam Turner. Where are you, Cam Turner? Uh, there we go. Give you the scores from last night. It's the annual soccer kickoff. Uh, this year it's the South Georgia Invitational, sponsored by Chatham Orthopedics and h &L Auto Sales. Last night, Savannah Arts Academy girls and the Calvary Day Schools went at it. Calvary Day School won 2-0. Uh, the Cambridge girls – uh, where they're from, I don't know. They took on Richmond Hill and beat them 6 nothing. And Islands uh, and Jefferson. Islands boys took on Jefferson County. It was a 1-1 tie. Today, over at Calvary Day School, starting at 11 a.m., Benedictine Boys Soccer takes on Cambridge at 11 a.m. Lakeside Evans takes on Savannah Arts County Boys at 1 p.m. Uh, then the Lakeside Evans Girls takes on Islands Girls at, at 3 p.m. And then Windsor Forest and Calvary go at it at 5 p.m., and Windsor Forest has their old ball coach back. Cam Turner is back roaming the sidelines, coaching the soccer teams. That's coaching the soccer team, the boys' soccer team at uh, Calvary Day School. Remember, that's the South Georgia Invitational Soccer uh, kickoff happening at Calvary Day School today. I think it's $5 for adults, $3 for kids. Uh, go check it out. All right, wrestling. That's right, wrestling. The traditional region areas are taking place today. The top four winners... I think in each weight class, or is the top three? Top three winners in each weight class move on to the state tournament. Last week we had the team championships, and Richmond Hill was the only team in this area to make it to that, but they did not finish. They did not win the, the state championship. All right, college. All right, got to go with SCAD. They're back in business. Uh, the women's tennis is ranked number five. Uh, sorry, they're ranked number four in the NAIA uh, indoor uh, in the NAIA tennis rankings. Women's lacrosse is ranked number eight. Men's lacrosse is picked seventh to finish in that uh, ACC lacrosse uh, division. And the men's lacrosse uh, is seventh. The ladies lacrosse is slated to be second. Okay. So United State women take back to the hardwood. They lost last weekend against Benedict. First loss in 15 games. Uh, they'll play today at Albany State. The men's games are canceled. Uh, the men, uh, the men's game is canceled today against Albany State, and I think on uh, they were supposed to play Moorhead on Monday. That's canceled. They will play again now. Sorry, Morehouse. They will play again till February fifth. All right. Step three: professionals. Okay, the Falcons are done. All right, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. But it's NFL championship division or conference championships uh, tomorrow. We got the Bengals against the Chiefs, and then we got the 49ers and Rams. Of course, Josh Millard came on being an NFL football player. Uh, he gave us who he wants to see win, and that's the Bengals and the Rams, and I like to see the same thing. it will be fun seeing, uh, you know, Joe Burrow against uh, Matt Stafford. That would be a lot of fun to watch. Uh, even, you know, Mahomes would be fun to watch too. All right. Um, Garoppolo, four good quarterbacks. All right. Basketball. Hawks. The Atlanta Hawks. Break up the Hawks. Six wins in a row. They had two games on the 500. They moved to third place in the Southeast Division, but they haven't moved up in the conference uh, yet, and uh, you have to be in the top eight to make the playoffs. They're, they're still at number 12. Of course, John Collins and Trey Young, they each had 21 points. They lead the Hawks over the Celtics uh, last night, 108-92. Uh, they'll be at home against the Lakers on Sunday, tomorrow, if LeBron and uh, Anthony Davis play. They didn't play last night, so we'll see what happens that. PGA Tour, Brian Harmon. Had a showing last week. He wound up being, or he wound up finished, finishing tied for third. Okay, he was tied for first going into the last two holes. He parred him out, but uh, let me get this guy's name. Um, Hudson, Sw Hudson Swayford, okay, wound up going 23 on, under. Harmon was 20 under. He finished tied for third. <clears throat> Savannah Bananas is sold out. On their world tour, starting in Savannah, Georgia. They're sold out in Savannah, March 11th and 12th. Sold out. Typical Savannah Bananas. Okay. But then they'll go on the road. They go to Daytona Beach on March 18th. Montgomery, Alabama on March 25th. West Palm Beach on April 1st. Columbus, Georgia on April 14th. And uh, Birmingham, Alabama on April 16th. And then they'll start their Coastal Plain League play at the end of May. 
Savannah Clovers announced last week that they are starting a professional men's, or not starting, they're going from, uh, uh, I guess you would call it a club team, going to a professional organization. Uh, so the Savannah Clo Clovers men's soccer team will become a professional team in 2023. Uh, Michael Carter uh, Racing, Michael Carter, Benedictine grad, now a junior at Georgia Tech. He's on the uh, Mazda MX-5 Cup Series. Okay, they're down in Daytona, Florida. First round on Thursday, he finished seventh, eight seconds off the pace. Okay, and yesterday he hit the wall on the third lap as we had the uh, breakdown by John Henderson down there in uh, Daytona Beach. All right, the events for Coach's Corner coming up. All right, let me get my uh, events page here. Now, there will be lead bands for the, these events, and I do apologize. I, I know John Henderson, uh, you know, was – okay, let me go. Come on. Here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slow computer, slow internet. I'm getting there. I know on February 11th – okay – Okay, Superfest, the weekend of the Super Bowl, Friday night. All right, we'll have Thomas Claxton in the myth, and I think we have Drop uh, Drop Dead Turbo, <laughs> Drop Kick Turbo, Drop Dead Turbo. But I know we got Thomas Claxton in the myth, and uh, Drop Dead Turbo will be leading the show, so that's the warm-up band. On Friday night, February 11th, I do apologize, Lawrence. Uh, you know, I'm getting old. I got to write this stuff down. All right. Superfest will be the whole weekend. You can get a two-day pass. There'll be oysters every day. Okay, then Saturday night, February 12th, we have Back in Black, which is the premier ACDC tribute band. And then on um, Sunday from 2 to pregame, uh, Super Bowl Sunday, we'll have Jason Ross and friends uh, honoring uh, Keith, uh, who passed away suddenly because, uh, you know, COVID-19 has taken a lot of uh, uh, people, uh, you know, away from us so they're going to do a tribute before the super bowl on super vest super fest weekend okay slow down coach all right other than that i appreciate you watching i appreciate john henderson and uh of course del henderson let me do my show here from every saturday let me do my show from the uh confines of uh, coach's corner hopefully when it gets warmer i'll be back out in the sound garden where all those bands will be playing there's a great lineup uh after super fest um Saturday, February 26th, we'll have Strange Glove, the, the Pesh Mode experience, okay? So February, we got three or four weekends with music out there in the Sound Garden. I got to thank them for letting me do this. It's always a lot of fun for everybody that tunes in. Uh, Lawrence Bennett, uh, Dennis Kessler, I appreciate you guys watching every weekend. Uh, so once again, NFL Divisional Championships this weekend. Come here to Coach's Corner. Any screen you want, they'll put it on, okay? So we'll have the uh, Bengals against the Chiefs, and we'll have the 49ers against the Rams, and uh, you'll have a lot of fun. So whatever you're doing today, tomorrow, always hit it out of the park. And until I see you next week, may be your best week ever. God bless. Keep safe. Talk to you later. Go Bengals. Go Rams. Go Rams.